Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we'll do MapReduce once again with PyMongo. As always, the code will be in the link in the description below. Outcome and purpose, uh, create a connection from Python to MongoDB, generate a MapReduce example with and without a query, export a CSV or JSON from MongoDB. If you're unfamiliar with what MapReduce is, Feel free to pause the video and read this to get a general idea. Now, install PyMongo if you don't have it. Here's three options you can use right here, depending on if you're using a Conda or a pip install. Now, import PyMongo pandas CSV JSON as well as from bson.code import code with a capital C. Now, to establish the connection, you call pymongo.mongo client and then whatever you're connecting with. I'm using localhost because I don't have a dedicated server or website. So, the database I'm going to uh, use is Berkeley, and the collection or, or think of table is recruiter clients. These data look like this it's nested where everything revolves around a candidate. Each candidate has a first, last name, list of skill set, state they live in, specialty, experience level, are they willing to relocate. I will generate two uh, ways of outputting your data. One will be iterating through the variable name. Two, calling the output file you generate, which would be people underscore skill count. Now. This create the map function, so I'll call it map func as the variable name, and then you have to use code quotation, and then we're creating a function without any uh, arguments where I'm looking to create a variable named skill, which will be my um, skill set. So I'm taking anything that you would like to call directly. We'll use this dot. So this dot candidate dot skills. Okay, iterate through these skills. Then I would like to use what's specific to the uh, map. What's specific to the map function, which would be called emit, and then the emit. I'm generating a key value pair for the name where you're wanting to use this dot first name and then I want to basically just think of concatenating strings I want to combine the first and the last name columns together to be one okay and then we need to call the skills that we just created above as well as I want to take the new key value pair of skills where I'm calling this dot candidate dot skills again and then I want to do a count of those skills so what's going on as the output in the end I will have the first and last name together a list of their skills and a count of how many skills they have. Now let's create the reduce function and use the code once again and this will take arguments for our function. So we're going to use the keys name and then the value is the skill count and then what you need to do is return a value. Return a value which will be our um, array.sum 
of the value for our skill count. So what's going on here? Well, since we have an array we're using, we need to use array.sum so it could actually take account of what's going on. And to bring it all together, we will call our um, recruiter clients collection and then use map underscore reduce which is uh, a little distinct from native uh, shell mongo and then we'll call our map func we'll call a reduce function and an output file I'm creating called people underscore skill count and then to access all of this I am going to print it out but in order to do it for the first example I will iterate through this so I'm iterating through all of the skills for MapReduce and we're going to do uh, a find like you're doing a query and we want to append our skills and the people's names and then I'll print off a few examples so we can see that this works and so we have the first and last name which are combined now this person's skills and counting the number of skills an alternate way of doing this without iterating through is directly calling the output file itself. The output file is actually stored as a collection. Okay? So if you look right here, this is the collection I stored in, and we can call it directly. So that's what we're going to do now. So then what you do is say, um, I'll just call it my doc equals db dot and then people skill count dot find and let's find everything. And then now that's create something called people as an empty list and then I'll just iterate through my document of everything and then we need to append this and then see what this looks like and it should be the same there we are so you can call it as a collection and call the stored um, output file that you just created or you can iterate directly through what we just created and not call this just depending but it's useful because you could run queries just the same so then to store this as a um, data frame now I'll just make up some list names and then let's go through the data for our people skills um, yeah okay let's go through our people skills and then we'll say the name of the uh, skills hold on okay so we'll look through the name of the skills for our data and we're looking at the ID and then we're looking at the skill count of our data and we're taking the value okay and then if you're paying attention here you look because it's basically like nested once again that's why I'm calling these like this so we could actually take the information that we need and then we need to start appending our skill count 
and we need to take the um, the name skills, and then we need to let's do a um, data frame creation of the uh, people's skills. So here's the skills, but we need to store this so we can add the other column that has the count. So then let's call this people skills count for our data frame. And then let's add a new column for our count, which would be uh, skill count. And then that'll just be this. And let's print it off. And there we go. So we have our new column that we just created. So now we have first name, last name, all their skills, and their count as a data frame. Okay, cool. So let's do the same thing with the query. So you could just paste everything that you just used from above, and this is the only bit that we're adding in, in the um, end, when you're actually calling the map reduce. We put your map function, your reduce function, the output file name, and then now you can add your query. There's a finalized step that you can also add, but with these data, it's not appropriate uh, just because of the nature of it. Okay, so my query will be kind of interesting and seem funny, but we're going to call an expression where we would like to take anything that's less than or equal to a skill set um, with a specific size. Okay, so I'll explain this in a second so it makes sense. So let's take the candidate dot skills. And then we want to take uh, Two skills. So what you're doing is working inner to outer. It's kind of weird. So doing the size of the list, and you want to take only a size of two. I'm just making it up where I'm saying I only want people with skill sets of two, and then I'm basically saying less than or equal to that value. I could do like three and then saying less than or equal to, or I could say less than that. Who cares? And let's print that off, right? Oops. Um, let's see where I messed up. So, expressions right, this is right, this should be right. Expression less than and this happened yesterday. Um, let me call this. Size. Oh, right there. There we are. So what happens when you're live coding. Okay. So now what I did is I just printed off people with, I could just say less than. So originally I'm looking at people with three skills, and then now I'm doing all less than. So now it's only printing off two skills, one skill, one skill, one skill, etc. Just depends on what you want it, but it's proof of concept for that. Now, let's do a uh, dumping our uh, CSV file. Now, I said pay attention here because there's an issue, right? There's two ways to do this, and you're going to see what happens. So, let's just do. Let me just cut and paste for sake of time, so you can see what's going on. And I'll explain this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some arbitrary uh, query and I'm converting it into a list where I'm taking, I'm calling everything. I do not want the output of the uh, ID, but I want to take the first last name skills in the state they live in. And we could look at what that is real quick. So here's what that looks like. Okay, then I'm creating a file that has the first name, last name, their skills, and their state. I'm calling it this file name. I'm writing that file. I'm aliasing it as an out file. 
right here where I'm creating a dictionary with these names and it has a header and I'm iterating through it where I could print this and then that's what it looks like because it's nested still so then you have to go inside the nested values here with the second loop and you can look at this and then now it's going inside so V is going inside of that but then Y is just calling the candidates okay then we say if Y equals candidate which it does then write that file of V and V like I just showed you was everything that you want okay so then let's look for this file candidate people here and see what it does if we import it back in as a data frame it looks all right but there's a problem with this okay so this file has the header and all the information but if you notice none of this is nested okay if you want to retain the nested original data you'll just do an import JSON we'll take the same query query that we did above and it's really short code where you just do a with open statement and we'll just call it candidate abbreviation dot json and then we write the file use some arbitrary designation and I'll do a json dump and then we'll call our abbreviated people and then what you're calling it then we'll look at this candidate abbreviated um, dump and if you notice it keeps all of the nested data so there's two distinctions of how you want to store your data two different examples as always I want to say thank you for watching this video and please subscribe turn on that notification bell leave a comment if you thought this was useful comment if not leave a comment and tell me why so I could approve this channel feel free to leave feedback everyone or just comment and say like the video or say hi have a good one i'll see you in the next video bye